So these are Pizza Head Bread Pizza Pizza Hut Bruds. <laughs> Hates Pizza Head Bread Sticks. Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to a very special Target Food Court episode of Fung Bros Food. See, a lot of people, when you're thinking about the great food courts, you're thinking about Costco, you're thinking about Sam's Club, but now we got Target with the little accent that it looks like you're wearing a Target shirt right there. Uh, you, you know, like you you're repping me, with the white you, you and red. You came through with the Target. No bail, Target, no sale. But Target's the store where you walk in looking for socks and you come out with about $140 Bro. worth in your car. Target got it all, man. All right, so everybody knows Target, but not everybody knows their food. They actually do a lot of high-end designer collaborations considering it's Target. You don't think about Target that way. But guess what, guys? We doing a collaboration with Target too. We're not getting paid hey, for Fung it. Hey, Gross Food X Target collaboration sold out. Target, Target Food, food Court Review. Let's go! The very first item that we have up from the Target food court is the hot dogs. So we got Nathan's famous beef frank here. So these hot dogs cost $2.89 each, but if you want two of them, it's two for four. Hey, That's a little, pretty pricey compared little, to the little, other spots. So we got mustard and ketchup on these Nathan Hales. Let's go. Bread's a little dry, dry but, the, but the hard. But the hot dog's kind of- The hot dog is good. I'm gonna eat it without, you know, the bread. Mm. That's how good it is. <laughs> you could tell the bread had a good flavor to it, but it was super dry and hard. Well, 3.5. Go three out of five, man. I actually like the condiments. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. There's a difference between different brands of mustard. Yeah, there yeah, are differences between different brands that's of ketchup. True. Yeah. 3.5 out of five. Right. Okay. okay. Coming in at a whopping $3.29, we have the Caprese chicken sausage. The what? Capre- Caprese. Caprese. It, Caprese. It's Italian. Look at the herbs. You got peppers in there. Kind of sweet. A little too sweet. Not as spicy as I thought. It has like a lot going on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Visually, it looked fire. Mm -hmm. Taste wise, it was okay. 2.5 out of 5. 2.5 out mean, of 5. I mean, maybe, maybe based off expectations, I was let yeah. down. I'm gonna give it a two out of five. Based off, you know how disappointed I was. I'm gonna give it a two out of five. If you're not trying to eat beef, I would say try the chicken one. But I will say coming in at that price point, I felt like I got catfish. All right, so overall, the hot dogs that Target offers versus the hot dogs from Costco or Sam's Club. Costco right now ranking the top. They rank at the top, but to me, the flavor of the Nathan's Famous is probably the strongest dog flavor yeah, out of true, everybody. True, really, true. out of the Costco? Yeah. Moving on to the pizza section they use Pizza Hut pizza. It's not deep dish. Deep dish looks a little bit more like a pie crust. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is pan pizza, which is kind of in between. Target's cheese pizza. Bread is buttery, a little bit oily. This pizza's coming in at 4.49. 4.49 for this? I was gonna give this a four out of five. Wow. Before I heard you say price, mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to drop it down to 3.5. Wow. Mm -hmm. I like how the crust is really soft. You know, I don't like really like hard crust. The sauce, good balance with the cheese. Oh, you're going in on it. I'm going in. Like, we, we got more food now. I'm halfway in. We got <laughs> more food. <clears throat> you, know what? you know what? This tastes so good. I'm going to still give it a four out of five. Given the wow. price, I'll still give it a four out of five. Four out of five. Four out of five. Wow. I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of five. Save some room for improvement. Coming in at still 449, we got the triple P <laughs> pepperoni personal this pan pizza. Looks four piece. It looks kind of like the pizza emoji. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's just so perfect, yeah. you know. But then wow. you know what it also looks like? And this is like super canto of me. A don tan. Yeah. Uh, Imagine like a, a really big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Four piece pepperoni personal pan pizza. Peep, 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 peep. I don't know about you guys, I prefer the cheese. Uh, same, same. These are like heart pepperoni. The taste of the pepperoni is not that great, but. Okay, I'll give you this. The pepperoni kind of tastes like bacon. Yeah. Yeah, because you love bacon. I do like bacon. Guys, I got to give it a four out of five on my wow. end. I mean, I, it's, I, I like it a little bit better than the cheese. I give it a 3.5 out of five. On a good pepperoni pizza, the oil should melt off the pepperoni and add an additional layer of flavor to the cheese. I thought the additional runoff of the oil layer detracted from the taste of the cheese. I'm gonna have to go with you, man. 3.5 out of five. Not as good as the cheese. Mm. I just snuck a fry. They're not good. <laughs> I was looking at them. I was looking at them. All right, let's just try these fries real quick. That tastes like some one week old cafeteria fries. All right, these fries cost $2.29. I, I gotta give these a one out of five. Oh. One out of five, man. If I could give it a zero, I would give it a zero, but I don't think that's valid. Okay. Zero is like something that make you sick. For $4.99, the chicken Alfredo pasta from Target. You know how they make Alfredo? It's like a lot of Parmesan cheese with like heavy cream. 
I just taste like cream almost. Give these a 2.5 out of 5. Wow. The cheese was way too heavy. I feel like there's not enough of the peppers. Cream was just too thick. I give it a 3. Oh. I kind of like it. 2.5 out of 5. I like the bites that I had, but I wouldn't want to eat the whole tray. Yeah. And there wasn't even that much chicken. I don't know. Yeah. You guys got some chicken? I didn't get any. I like, I got like one piece. One tiny piece. So. All right, well. Coming in at another 4.99. We got the meaty marinara. Man, this looks like a pizza. This I straight know. up looks like <laughs> no, the I cheese did, uh, pizza like, we yeah, were just at. Pizza? This is a pan pizza. <laughs> meaty marinara, let's do it. I was impressed by actually the meat in it. I was just gonna say that. That is not like some pepperoni meat. They didn't just take the actual like ingredients from a pizza and throw that in the pasta. I expected it to be a little bit more tomato More, more oregano. Yes, but however still, I'm gonna give that one notch up from the Alfredo. I'm giving that a three out of five. I'm gonna have to double down on a three out of five. The marinara was a little more sweet yeah. rather than tangy. I've been thinking about it. <clears throat> 2,000 years later. 2,000 years later. If I put my younger child hat on, four out of five. Wow. 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 Think yeah, about it. Guys, it's elevated Chef Boyardee. I'm not mad at you though. Bro, I'm it's not elevated mad at you though. Chef Boyardee. I wow. thought you were gonna give it like a one. Because I'm thinking with the target audience in mind. But what about you? <laughs> I said what I said. Did I stutter? What I about said you, David? What I said, man. This ain't about them. This is about you. It ain't about We need the to kids. know you. We have the 15 piece pretzel bite for $3.29. Hey, it's still cheaper than the stadium, though. It's not necessary to try it without the cheese. No, I try it without yeah. the cheese. Bro, did you just hum? No. You just, you hummed. No, I didn't. You hummed. No, David, I didn't. David went. <laughs> I'll tell you, I didn't though. <laughs> Rico's nacho cheese is killing it right now. It's kind of spicy. I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm giving it a two out of five. It's way too hard. It tastes really? kind of like cardboard. Not that I ever ate cardboard, but you know. I give it a two, too. Really? I'm giving it a three. Solid three. We have the $2.19 grilled cheese from the Target Food Court. Grilled, grilled cheese. cheese. It's a thick slice of American cheese. It's creamy. It does not have that cheddar bite to it. Yeah. Yo, I'm not mad at it though. What about if I dip it in the marinara? Yo, what if I dip it in the Rico? Woo! When it was fresh, maybe a four out of five. In the form that we're eating it right now, three out of five. Yo, grilled cheese is very fresh to right, I'm really surprised about how the toast is still, you know, light and crispy. Normally you would think it would get soggy. Yeah. But you know what? Let me let me give them nah. a four out of five. Nah, I give it a four out of five. Mm -hmm. I like this product. You know why? Four grilled cheese. It's whole wheat. It's got a thick slice of American cheese. It's still crispy, still tasty, even after. 20 minutes. I was gonna give it 3.5 out of 5. Okay, so I gave it a 4, you gave it a 4. Yeah. So I think average wise, that's tied with the cheese pizza. Because you guys okay. give the cheese 4, I gave yeah. it 3.5. And then we have your $3.29 chicken tenders. Chicon. The chicon. <laughs> it's sort of the, the chicon et tarje. <laughs> it's the chicken tenders et tarje. So this is this is BYO sauce. Mm -hmm. Instead of not BYOB, it's bring your own sauce. Yeah. I didn't think I was gonna like this because it was very dry. And yeah. I was impressed by the flavor. Yeah. You can see the burnt edges right here. You can see how some of the breadcrumbs are burnt on certain sides. So that means the last time it was cooked, it was baked. Thinking back to Lil O, Nelly Nell, as a kid, I would enjoy this a lot. I'm I enjoying this as much as a nine-year-old. Give it a four out of five. Wow. Like, obviously with the caveat that it was fresh. Give it a four out of five. I give it a four out of five. The chicken tenders are ranking at the highest average of all the items from Target. The, the chicken tenders from Target. I've been noticing a trend. They struggle with bread. And anything that's simple, that is a child's food, have all been executed quite strong. Strong. Once there have been additional elements, quality has become unstable. Here we have the pretzel coming in at a luxury price of $2.89. Way better than the bite. Way better than the bite. What do we give it a one? Way more of that conventional pretzel dense. I do enjoy this a little bit better than pretzel bites. But so what are you gonna give it? Better. A five out of five? <laughs> are you trying to make fun of me? Three point five. I thought the bread, and a half? in my yeah. opinion, tasted completely different. Three point five. I'm giving it the same score as you, except my jump is only a point five. I'll give it a 2.5. Okay. I'm like, still a middle. jump. That's still, still a jump. Still, still a like... sizable jump. So let's get on to the bread sticks. Let's Here. get this bread. Let's get this bread. I'm interested. Let's, I'm get, it. let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Very light. It. It's very light. It's got a lot Wait, of seasoning. This, this... I can see the crispiness on the bottom though. I like that. The oil right there. You have the seasoning on top, which is probably a mixture of Parmesan, oregano, salt. Yo, what if he sniffed it up in your nose? Neck and kind of hard. Ooh, that crunch. 
little too dry, man. Yeah, I'm tough. I didn't expect it to taste like this. Me I thought it would be more dense, actually. Yeah. And, and you know, some people may criticize and say, you know, well, you shouldn't have let it sit for a little while. You can predict if something was good. No. Yeah. While still acknowledging that in its current format, it's not good. And uh, it is crunchy on the top. And then with all that, you know, seasoning on the top, it makes it very jam-packed salty. Okay. 2.5 out of 5. Giving it a 3. Solid 3. 2.5 out of 5. Coming in at $1.69, we got the Target Popcorn. Yo, Guys, I'm not going to lie. Yo, straight Yo. up. Straight Yo. up. This is 5 out of 5. <laughs> Damn! I was gonna say, I'm not a fan of popcorn. I was gonna give it like a, you know, a four out of five, but this one went with the cupboard and butter. Just go watch it on Tuesday, it's five bucks at EMC. Where can you get better popcorn for 169 where they cook it for you? 30, 40 ounce bag. Gigantic. Huge. Almost too much. I give it a 4.5 out of five. That is the highest score today. Here we have the chicken wings. 4.99 though. Wow. Pricey. For six piece? It was fresh. Five out of five. Wow. Chicken wings. You know why? Going back to the nostalgia thing, this reminds me of when I was elementary school, every Thursday they would have hot wings at the cafeteria. This is what it kind of tastes like. Do you even think these wings need ranch? I don't no, think they do. No. These are, I thought it was a four out of five. Because it's juicy, they're small, they're not dry. They got oh, a God. good amount of kick, you know, in the, the hot flavor. I give it a 4.5 out of five. Like these are actually solid wings, like yeah. just overall. It's buffalo sauce, but you know, not too buffalo. Sometimes mm -hmm. the buffalo sauce, a little too tangy. Yeah, it was a dry, yeah, yeah, a dry like buffalo. This is like a little bit more on the spicy side than the tangy side. My favorite thing that we had today from the Target Food Court was the personal pan cheese pizza or the popcorn. I still have a soft spot for the chicken Alfredo. Got to be the wings and I like the marinara one better. I was gonna actually say the meaty marinara and the chicken wings since Nelson's been predicting all my moves and just took my answers. On my kid's side, I say the grilled cheese. My more grown size says the chicken wings. Target's not the lowest price store out there. So if you're eating there, you probably are willing to spend a little bit more money just on convenience sake. What is one collaboration you guys would recommend for Target on the food court end because they love collaborations? And then even one on the clothing slash home furnishings end. I would like to see them collaborate with Sriracha on the clothing end with Yoji Yamamoto or another minimalistic future tech wear Japanese designer. They, they need to collaborate with the Magnum Bars. They have no ice cream or collaborate with Yogurt Land. They on the clothing end. Sean Weatherspoon. I think Target has to collab with Wetzel's Pretzels. A clothing collab? So they might hit up Virgil, man. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching that video of the Target food court. In the comments below, let us know what brand of food Target should collab on with their food court, what's a clothing brand that Target should collab with, and then also let us know what other food courts or places you want us to try and review. Until next time, Fung Brothers here, David, Andrew, we got Nelson from Hoopin' Life. Thank you for joining us on this very special food court episode of Fung Bros Food, and until next time, we out. Peace. Peace. I can tell, I called Nell earlier, I was like, yo, we doing low bro food, Target, you're like, uh... <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs>